hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to be showing you multiple ways to replace a video on a tv screen in premiere pro i'll be showing you multiple scenarios for this replacement and what technique works best in each scenario so over here on my timeline i have a clip with a rectangular tv screen I have a clip with an old rounded corner TV and I also have a screen with a green screen and I'll be showing you the best techniques to replace your screen in each of these scenarios. So in the first scenario we have a static shot here with no camera movement and you also notice that the TV screen here is rectangular. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import the clip that I want to replace the screen with onto my timeline over here. Next thing I'll do is to resize the clip so that it's smaller than the TV screen and move the position to where I have my TV screen. And I'll adjust it also to make sure that it fits properly inside the TV screen. So for the next step, I'm going to zoom in so that I can see this screen properly. Next, go over to the effects library and search for the corner pin effect. And apply this corner pin effect onto your top clip over here. And move over to the effects control and select the corner pin effect so that you can see these blue circles appear at the corners of this clip. Next thing you want to do is to drag these blue circles to the edge of your TV screen over here so that it perfectly aligns with your TV screen. And drag the corner handle so that each one match the corner of the TV. Now once you are done, zoom back out of your preview window. And if we go back to the beginning now and hit play, we have successfully replaced this screen over here. And this technique works best for a rectangular TV screen and a static shot. And now we have this TV screen completely replaced and reflecting something else. But what if we have a TV screen that is curved, like an old TV screen? In this scenario, the first thing you need to do is to select your clip over here and move over to the effects control and select this free drop bezier tool over here and move over to your preview window and zoom in. The next thing you want to do is to begin to draw a mask around your TV screen over here. And once I'm done, I'm just going to zoom back out of my preview window. You'll see that we now have this black empty space around the screen, which is the opposite of what we really want. So to fix this, you come over to your first control panel over here and select inverted. Next thing you need to do is to select this clip and move it one track above and drag the second clip that we want into our timeline over here, directly beneath our video with the TV screen. And you will need to select this clip and adjust the scale in the first control panel over here. You might also need to adjust the position to fit what we are going for another thing you will need to do is to select this top clip over here and you can reduce the max feather and you can also increase the max expansion if you like to smoothen out the edges some more and if we go back now and we hit play you can see it underneath the mask we have created but we can make it more real by adding some of that static from the original clip so to do this all you need to do is to select this clip over here and hold on to alt and drag it one step above to duplicate it now select this top clip over here and move over to the effects control panel select your mask here and delete it next thing you want to do is to reduce the opacity so that there is a blend of the static with our original clip and if we go back now and hit play you can see our static appearing with our clip over here now just in case you didn't record any static with your tv screen you can still bring in some false noise right in premiere pro so move over to your effects library and search for the noise effect and under noise and green Drag this noise effect onto your video clip over here and in the first control panel over here you can increase the amount of noise. I'm just going to increase it to 100 so you can see what we can really create out of this. And since this is an old TV we can add some color distortion effect as well. Just search for an effect called Arimetric and drag it onto your video clip and move over to your effects control panel over here. Just play with the values till you get something you really like. But just in case the shot of your TV is not straight on, let's say it's on an angle like this, you can simply just search for an effect called Basic 3D and apply this Basic 3D effect onto your video over here. With that clip selected, scroll down to your Basic 3D option and here you can adjust the swivel and the tilt. It's really just as simple as that, but you might have to adjust the value of the scale or the position to fit the screen. But what if you have a green screen TV? All you have to do is to place the video clip you want to replace the screen with directly above the TV screen. Next thing I'm going to do is to select my top clip over here and reduce the scale so that I can see the green screen TV over here. Now I'm going to place this directly above the TV screen. What I'm going to do is to reduce the opacity so that I can see the TV screen. But in this case, I'm going to make this slightly bigger than the TV screen. So what I'm going to do is to move this now and reduce it once more. 
Now because this TV screen is not straight, I can decide to adjust the rotation to match the rotation of the TV screen, something like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to increase the opacity back to 100 and place this video directly beneath the video with my TV screen. Now I'm going to select my video clip with the TV screen over here and move over to my effects library and search for the ultra key effect. Now I'll drag this ultra key effect onto my video clip with the TV screen over here and move over to my effects control and select this color picker icon and key out this green color over here. Now you can decide to set the settings to aggressive and if I go back now and hit play, you can see that we have successfully replaced the green screen with this lady over here. And that's it guys on how to create this screen replacement effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.